Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers episode. My name is Rickams. I'm here with a bunch of uh, Patreons here on our Patreon server. And I'm going to say hi everyone. Hi John, you're early today. Playing around a little bit with 116. Hi Stick Boy. Hi Sad Horizon. Hi Greg La. Hi Tiny Tots. And high set horizon as well. We fixed the lag issue we previously had this morning on the Patreon server. Luckily, that <laughs> got tested by all the Patreons. There was a little problem with the fix we've added. That was supposed to stop um, inventories losing items, but instead it was causing a lot of chunk loading instead. Which in turn caused a lot of lag. And hi chef, how are you doing today? Let's see how our lumberjack is doing now. Like that, I guess. I can mine quickly. She got a bunch more oak logs. Let's see if she got any here in her inventory. No, only an iron X, nothing else. Okay. So let's test just now we're going to see if she is going to pick up anything or he let me see if that if there's anything hidden in that inventory there but hopefully all that inventory losing stuff should be fixed with that most recent version so the d-man is scanning here couldn't find anything okay so let let me get a little bit of sand here Anything else I can bear? Okay, dirt is fine. Um, and let's see if we can get her to dump all of this. And see if she's actually going to dump that correctly. That's going to be interesting. Um, so, dum de dum. Going to dump that. Not into this one here. No. Don't do this with me. Ah, okay, it's here. Okay, I was already shocked halfway. <laughs> but she dumped it in here. So maybe that issue is actually fixed. Although there's... Um, in the last episode, we set up those walls, as you can see here. Just, I think I saw... No, it looks fine. So that is our initial wall section. It goes all around here between the guard towers. And from that guard tower here, I'm going to pull then the wall to the other side. But first, let's check on our workers. How our builders are in terms of resources. They started in library 1 and the guard tower 3 again. So let's see. Okay, she's almost finished with the guard tower. Let's see how the other one. Probably still in need of more oak logs. We can give another 12 at least. But that is uh, not so easy to get. But at least now our lumberjack shouldn't be voiding those anymore. We do need lots of them, yes. Yes, here you go. So 24. Uh, only 30 missing. So that's okay, I guess. We're getting close. Uh, meanwhile, we have got the delivery man here. Upgrade scheduled. Let's see what the next upgrade here would need. Um, that is not so expensive, actually. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that as well. Okay. We get our things upgraded. Meanwhile, I'm going to check if I can continue our walls here. So we're almost out of the polished granite. And then we're going to push the wall from this guard tower over to this one here. Probably going to go close here to the corner again. And then pull it over all the way here. Or should I take it behind? I do like the thing of around the corner. Now I think I'm going to go 
And I'm going to use this area here as a colony area in general as well. You know, I'm going to go inside here, jump and jump and do click on the next upgrade too. Yeah, okay, I made it. The next one is on the list already, so I guess the next builder is going to start on this one here relatively soon. Ah, yes, she started on the next citizen upgrade, that's good. Um, dum -de -dum. And we get some granite before I forget what I actually wanted to do. Granite, there we go. And then... Get some granite, and we do need some slabs. Okay, there we go. Great. Slabs and granite. And yeah, here it's getting really hot as well. I think we're currently having average daytime temperatures of over 30 degrees at the moment here in Portugal. So that's insanely hot. I'm, I'm really not the heat kind of guy, so I'm kind of really suffering from the heat lately. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five, five, oh, that's an easy one, five, five, oh, it would go kind of here, so one, two, three, four, five is here, do we have, <laughs> You've never watched the movies? That's kind of disappointing. I'm, I'm not promoting the, the sequels, but the prequels are the original movies. I would say are definitely worth watching. Although nowadays, it's still pretty neat, I have to say. Of course, there is a lot of nostalgia in that as well included. Oh, this time. Can we do it this time? Hit the corner. Come on. No, again. Again. It's one, it's one off again. I don't believe it. Just one off. Just one. Oh, yay. She finished the library. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, five. I do want um, potentially to get some sand. Give me a little bit of sand here. Never. Uh, here. That is where it's going to go. But like this. We can still not do it. But where would we would this lead now? Would this lead like no, it would pass it. If it led in the side exactly, I think it would also be fairly satisfied. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. Okay, I'm going to fill in this area here. With sand as well. And I'm going to place a few of those lights additionally around. Which are totally not overpowered. So here was number five. And then, 
Yeah, the wall is there, right? Oh, it's raining. That's not nice. Let's see how we go alongside here the border. One, two, three. That's don't tell me it's a not one, two, three, seven. So at least two blocks of three. I think that I can live with actually. Hi Kalaki, how are you doing? Four jump. One, two, three. Jump. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm actually trying to do it the smarter way. To place a block under me while jumping. That is not working very well. At least that works. That seems like a five gap, isn't it? No, I'm just not used anymore to... Yeah. Okay. More andesite. Uh, granite, I mean. Dough. Ouch. I'm losing on health here quickly. Oh, I made it this time. I actually made it. And I jumped on the side of it. <laughs> that was a derp. Okay. Huh. Okay. Again. And one, two. It's one more, isn't it? No, we're fine. Yeah. Um, not good at that. <laughs> Evading the gap. Oops. You give me a gap on... Okay. We got that part finished as well. Now we just gotta put up the connection here. Okay. The advantage is also that we're going to be able to snipe the barbarians through the wall. So we can... I'm wondering if an archer could shoot through these. That could be actually very useful to just have archers patrol this area and then just shoot through them since most of the enemies are going to be melee anyway. This could make this type of wall actually pretty viable together with mine colonies if archers would be able to use them fairly well. I mean, even if half of the arrows fail, it's Still better than nothing, I think. There we go. I kind of have this drum and bass is a little bit not so chilly as it they think it is. So, next music. I'm going to repeat myself. I can't wait for the Chaz and Lo-Fi channel. I'm a huge Lo-Fi and Chaz fan. If they mix in some bossa nova, that would be pretty neat. Um, okay. More slabs. I guess we do want a gate here and there. So let's leave a gate open for now. True. That is true. Since they can't squat, they possibly won't be able to see it as well. Although it depends a lot. If they are very close, they won't. If they are at a distance, they will. And at the distance, as you can see, at the distance, oops, fail. 
at the distance this here becomes fairly difficult to shoot close enemies through I guess everything has its advantage and disadvantage what is this there you can't have the pie and eat it like they say right oops Um. Although adding squatting to archers would be not so difficult. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of cake. Huge fan. Ah, cake, not pie. <laughs> I love all of it, as long as it's sweet. I'm going to eat it, I don't want to have the cake. But yes, it's the cake, not the pie. Thanks. I'm a huge idiom fan, in general. And in the region in Germany I'm from, Everything, all educative things my parents tried to teach me were taught through idioms or rhymes. <laughs> um, like one of the classic ones, the life is not a pony farm. And it really isn't. Uh, now I feel like eating cake. I have to c cook another cake cake this week. This really made me feel like eating some nice chocolate cake. And we Yeah, the easiest pie, that one I knew, is pie. Oops. Mm. Oh, we have... Yeah, we, we, we made this amazing chocolate cake recipe. I think it was around... How long was it ago? I think around two weeks ago we discovered a very neat vegan cake recipe that just tastes amazing without needing eggs nor milk which also means it's just longer nigh well in the fridge because it needs none of those and you can eat the residue in the pan because it doesn't have fresh eggs in it too. <laughs> Pranging up the torches. There we go. Almost through here. Okay. And now we got to do it on the other side as well. It never stopped me from doing so, but the bell even though I have to say the belly pain is always worth it. <laughs> I would I wouldn't want to get the salmonella. I really wouldn't want. I was lucky so far. But you're you're not always as lucky. There we go. Mm. Oh, I got more torches with me. Unexpectedly. I thought I'm out of torches. But this is good. So torching this out is very well because that means less enemies are going to spawn at the corners here. 
There we go. Almost done. There we go. And from here it's going to be easier because it's basically just straight to the other guard tower on the other side. And I have a feeling that those are not aligned. They are not. That's a pain. I think I'm going to reposition the other guard tower. Them not being aligned. I don't agree with that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Ah. No. Only because of that little piece of sand, we're going to put that one up. Not in your wildest dreams. Yeah, and the end entrance is facing this direction. That's a major pain. I'm going to have to reposition that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Don't tell me that. The delivery man hut we've placed here. It's just perfect in a way as well. And the builder is stuck. <laughs> Oops. Yes. Can give you the torches already. So this is bad as well. Although I guess we can just jump over the edge here. Um, you know what? Let's just make it then not centered on the tower, but on the corner of the tower. That is going to give us less a pain with the other guard tower as well. That's and welcome, Edward. Welcome to our channel. Um, I'm going to go with here. Like here, straight. That should be less of a pain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Counting English with Ray. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That's three. Uh, I'm getting unconcentrated because I'm losing patience. <laughs> Counting! Hey, if you don't do it regularly, you might lose out on that basic skill. Five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Then we go up for sure. One, two, three, four, five. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. And one, two, three, four, five. Un, deux, trois, quatre, vingt. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Un, dois, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uno, due, tre, cuatro, cinco, cinco. Ses. Un, dois, tres, cuatro, cinco. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. I'm going to take care of this there we go and now we get a sleep quickly for the entity spawn and it gets fun our citizens are t tucked into bed that means it must be really late now as well okay um oh we're getting really close at least one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
mine this one here one two ah. to fill this one two three four five one two three four five and I can hear a zombie after me not fun five okay so we're basically only missing the back side of the colony. So, do I want to finish this? I only have a little bit left. Uh, we are going to have to reposition this one here to face inwards anyway. So... Yeah, you can pick up the stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, the rest of the wall building we're going to do later. And we're going to check again how our two builders are doing. I know for sure that the one is working on the delivery hut here. Is needing probably a, a shovel. And most certainly also cut sandstone. Let's see in general how they're doing here. So it needs cut sandstone. I got a bunch of sandstone with me. So I can make it cut. There we go. I recalled Connor. Oh, I'm gonna eat something. Then gotta drop those off again. There we go. Connor is not wanting to come. Do we have some... Not so bad. Or do I'm going to do a spark... Um, going to do a little bit of profiling while we're here. To see how the server is doing now. I'm wondering where he is. There he is. He got a tool. So I guess he is fine. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Might have been lag or him teleporting to a position on the ramp. Now we see what this one here is needing. We need furnace and sandstone stairs. I can have you with that. Um, do we have... We have polished diorite. We do not have cobble. So let's steal some cobble from our miner meanwhile. And let's check out the library, yes. Mind the gap. <laughs> Yeah, one disadvantage of these Star Wars dials is perfect for people like me who do not know how to mine the gap. Okay. So it's stop, spark, um, sampler, stop. Let's copy that and I'm going to look on it later. I'll check out the library here. It certainly, ha it certainly has a nice flair to it. Definitely agree. It's a nice level 1 library, for sure. Okay. And we go back and we get some material from our miner. I'm sure that inventory is almost overloaded. And we check how our lumberjack has been doing with the woods. She got some on her. And if there's nothing here... Actually, oh, it's, it's working. Hi, Ross. How are you doing? Oh, yes. We've been starting to place walls around our colony. We started yesterday and placed the wall section going from that guard tower all the way around the colony up to the other side and right now we just finished 
putting from this guard tower all behind the to the other guard tower basically and I forgot to go to the miner but it seems the inventory loss problem is fixed that would be epic if that would be finally out of the loop and then the only thing we have to look into more seriously is the delivery uh, warehouse issues and then we would have basically on a very nice we would be basically on a very nice level again let me see if he has some coal as well meanwhile I'm doing fine I I looked I checked out your stream today Ross check quickly in where you're planning your colony I left a follow there <laughs> Although you didn't seem to be paying attention to the uh, to the chat. Oh, more sticks here. That's fine then. <laughs> it's not a problem. Hey, yeah, I guess from this town we're going to later go behind. Potentially, or we're going to let it here. And it's going to be future of the second outline. At least we got some cobblestone now, so we can bring the remaining resources. Uh, you should be setting up um, stream labs with your streams, because I always I don't get the follows and um, I also. Don't notice these things even if they display in the stream but in streamlabs you can like set in a sound that makes like the din when someone follows so that kind of notifies you of that easily ah the builder i also don't oh, notice it e i wouldn't notice it either to be honest furnace and red bed do we have yes we do have one of these we have three of these. Um, yeah, and, and it is very easy to do that on the Streamlabs website and completely free too. Else I wouldn't advise doing it, but because it's completely free and you set it up online and then you just set up a few little things in OBS, that is fairly useful. There we go. So one furnace, one red bed, and we only need the the racks. But do we have still some? Let's sort this inventory again. I think I did. No, I don't have the iron here. Um. Ah, I have two rags. That's just. That's just a dream. Perfect. Um, I needed a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that as well. Um, I needed a long time to find... <clears throat> Sorry, one second. I need some water. I needed a long time to find the Streamlabs website. I always heard, ah, you need Streamlabs to set up that stuff. And when I, when I googled then for that, Streamlabs and Twitch, I only found that it was Windows only. And I was like, mm, I have to download extra software for that. But then I found that Streamlabs actually had their own website where you can configure things online and connect it to any streaming software, which is super useful, not to say. Um, I got to the next delivery man hut placed and start on the other delivery man three. Nice. So we got two delivery men here hired. I don't think it's time yet to hire the third one. I think we're not currently so needy of a third one. Although I'm going to upgrade this one here already. Do we have? Okay, we have a bunch of unemployed citizens. We're just going to hire that. We can still fire and hire in a different job later. Just need to fill in 
this little ugly part here that's getting my OCD a little bit crazy. There we go. I think I want it like here. Okay, I can live with that. Mm. Good idea. I'm going to put one in the library. And then I'm going to think what is the next job that we should get. I think we do have... I'm going to check at the research at the university quickly and see what we should get next. I think that is a good guide to in which order we order we place them. Potentially we should get the hospital next to have that taken care of manually too. Although a fisherman is always neat, that is true. I think yes. I think I'm going to go with a fisherman. I'm nevertheless going to check out our uh, research here. So. Okay, we got two here. So we got no combat research going. That means our barracks are unlocked, which is good. The hospital is not unlocked yet. It will make its own lake. That's good. That's good. Um, we do want the school research. So let's start researching that. And potentially the sleeping less research. As well. I think the taunt research is very useful. But I don't have... All the things for that here with me, do I? Nope. So I have to get a, a few iron ingots at our base to research the sleeping less of the guards. And I'm going to craft a fisherman's hut also. Potentially, what else? The fisher yeah, the fisherman is a good start. And then we probably do want a few more guard towers. Now we want the barracks. Let me click build on the barracks already before I forget that. Because the barracks is going to be one of our next build projects for sure. Build the barracks. Great. Um... Where was I going? Ah, to our base to get some iron. We have... Ah, here we go. And then we can use this to... What did I want? Ah, 16 we need actually. Um... Are we so low on iron? That's not iron. Husk? Really? Behind my back? I don't believe it. Um, I can already get up here the string. Um, two string. I think the rod... Was it the fishing rod? Two or three string? Too, but I need I'm going to already put fishing rods in the fisherman hut so I got taken care of that and then we look at its iron ore can put this here um, I still need more than that so 11 I need five more so I need three more. Okay, nope. So I can at least get two nuggets out here. And then I knew use the nuggets I have here to make one more. And then I use 
cheer. All we got. And when I'm on it, I'm going to craft here the three fishing rods. And I'm going to craft already. That's the fisherman's. Ah, there we go. Short client side lag confusing the hell out of me. Was, wasn't that the right recipe? Oh, that was really confusing me. Oops. There we go. Combat. I have too many in progress. I do have the... Eh, I forgot that I had the civility hospital research in progress. Never mind. And we're going to check out how does the fisherman hut in the Space War style look like. I do not remember that. Okay, it is fairly underground seemingly. Did I build that? I have a feeling that I built that. Or at least partially. So we got the well. Yeah, I have the feeling that I built that. Kind of reminds me of something I did. You made it? Kind of remember working at the fisherman hut. But maybe I was just reviewing it when you made it. That's entirely possible. And that seems like a 7x7 seven seven area as well. Now where do we want that? Now naturally I would probably put that here next to the swamp. Potentially like here exactly. Do I put it here close to the swamp, like a little bit overground next to the swamp? Or do I put it right in the middle of the colony? Like something like this. Oops. Wait, fail. Like this. Yeah, but it could be kind of the river, but that would also look weird, I think. Then I would have to put it on water level. But on level 5, it is separated, right? This here. That is not a connection to the... Is that a connection to the real world? Or is that glass? Like, can things swim through those holes? Because then it makes sense, then we can put it in the river. So level 4 also has those. I think they can, right? I think so too. Okay, so we do not want this too close to the guard hut here, but potentially, potentially we put it here, wait a second, like this. Yeah, and put it then basically here kinda on water level directly like this I think that is probably a nice idea so we got this here we can move it closer here mm. 
maybe one, two over here. And here is going to be kind of the entry, isn't it? No? Entry is there. Yes. So here's the entry. Hmm. But mirroring it still puts the entry here, right? I would want more like the entry being here, actually. Yeah, here the entry. And then potentially we put it a little bit further here. Should still fit into the walls. And here is the entry exactly. I think that's, uh, that looks perfect. Now just gotta put it on the right level. Like this. So here was the entry. Now I just gotta find the fisherman hut. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be here. I'm going to put a cobblestone here. And I can one, two, three, four, five. Is it on the right level? Yes, this is water level. And then I can click. Okay, and I just got a mine down here. It seems researchers still die more than they actually should. I can put here now the rods that I already made. Get the material. There we go. I'm getting a bit of food. There we go. I'm going to get a little bit of the sand here already out of the way. I think that's going to be a lot of work for the builder to all get out. So I'm going to make this a little bit easier on whoever is going to pick this up Fortune or Connor. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm all flying to me materials. And then here there's going to be like a set of stairs down. Straight here, wasn't it? Here we go. So I guess that's already good. The rest, the rest the builders can do then. I just need to remember that I'm going to need some form of gate around here then. To help out the fisherman later. Yeah, I'm going to do that when the fisherman is done and the wall is done as well. Doesn't have to be now. There we go. Meanwhile, we can check our builders again, how they're doing. Could be an underground passageway as well, to be honest. Yes. That could be an option. Could be a neat way to connect those buildings. Oh, the builders is there. And the builders seemingly needing something. You need the red concrete. That one is at the other hut, isn't it? Let me check that out. Red concrete. Fortune is also needing something. Let's take the quick way. What can I do for you? 
You need a shovel. I can help you with the shovel. That may be a bit too much. Three shovels is fine. There you go. You still got everything, yes. And I think she has the red concrete somewhere, don't you? Kong yes she does. We just have to find in which rack it is. It's not here. Not there. There we got it. Red concrete. We definitely can request the eagers picking up a few of those things here though. And this one is overflowing. And I can come and pick that up. Oh, a passage with rails. I like that even more. That sounds like a good idea. So trapped chest again we need and some fence. It was not a lot of fence. So that should actually do it. Yes. To even put the Well that one is also overflowing. Also going to call them here. Birch birch stuff. Let me drop off all the other things here I got again. And birch. Do we have birch? No, I don't have birch with me. So I'm going to get some birch, uh, the lumberjack, and I'm going to get some sleep quickly as well. We do have birch in the warehouse, that's true. But I gotta go to bed anyway, and then I can get some birch upstairs here too. Um, meanwhile, let me check what the big lag options on the server are. It looks better than, oops, didn't sleep. Um, we got a bunch of zombie activity, a bunch of citizen activity here as well. Well, that one seems normal. We got a lot of citizens at the spawn colony. That seems fairly distributed, yeah. That's a 3% of the performance. Okay, now I slept. Now I can get some burge up here. I don't want to half a st Here we go, half a stack is fine. So... And it was... A few of those pressure plates. And a few of those slabs, wasn't it? And that was him, wasn't it? I think it was. And then he got everything he needs again for his current task. Ah, the trapped chest. I almost forgot. Yeah, you take all of those. Trapped chests. So I do need two chests for it. And what was the recipe of the trapped chest again? Ah, nope. That's a stick and an iron ingot. Oh, fun. That's not expensive at all. So... Ah, at least one only. That's good.
Wait. There we go. Two trap chests. All things done. That's going to be enough for the next level 3 upgrade of the delivery man. And those should be carrying quite some things. Ah. To the warehouse now. I hear those racks are filling up, aren't they? Let me check. Yeah, so we got a bunch of diorite, wool. A bunch of different wool, that's good. Some string. A lot of sand. Um, wow, 288 birch already. But it's getting together. Do we have oak? Oh, 62 oak here, for example. That's not so bad. Oh, Lumberjack is finally doing a nice deed here. It's filling up. And with all the access material the delivery men are going to bring over from the builders, that should bring us to a nice decent state, I would say. Okay. And then we can check on our other workers. For example, our miner. He's been very silent. Let's check what she's up to. Yeah, she's silent because she needs something. Okay, N. You need pickaxes? Oh, what did you find? Minimal level diamond. I'm going down with you there to see what she has to mine to get the minimum level diamond. Silver ore, coal, iron. Ah, there we go. Backpack. I do have some iron with me. Um, why is my backpack not opening? I dropped it. I still have those here. Wow. What is happening? Okay, the backpack is back. Flag. That seems fine. I have the best ping. GPS. Seems fine, 20. What is wrong with my backpack? Okay, now these two items disappeared. Might be some local lag, actually. How's my FPS? Okay, let me check. I can just put my this in here. This out here. Now it works. Putting it away and taking it back seems to have fixed the bag. Seems okay. There you go. And now you're going to go back down and get us a bunch of those nice things she, she's she been finding. Like cobblestone letters, spruce doors. I'm definitely going to request a pickup here. Oh, that's not chilly music at all. There we go. Hi, Ross. I'm going to write high in game as well. Because people tend to not see when one person writes high. Yeah, I don't know where she got those. You dropped them in a colony last week. That... <laughs> yeah, I wanted to check, but then I got lazy. Why can't I place... What the heck? I guess I really gotta relog. 
Give me a second, I'm going to reload quickly. Can just be a, a matter of hours. Yeah, I wanted to check then I thought, nah, I have to go down there. Um... And then I have to go down there and run around and see that. Um. So we're loading. Dum -dum -dum. I'm streaming. Okay. I was desyncing. Oh, if you want to join me on voice, Wizzy, by the way, you can still join me. Yeah! <laughs> um, I, mean, I think I'm not in a voice channel right now. So let me join voice here quickly. I, I forgot to announce the stream. I did forget that. That is true. Tomorrow is my another day off, but on Thursday I'm not going to forget. Hi House of Doggers, how are you doing? Ah, it's going to be on 4 p.m. UK Thursday. I'm going to try to not miss that, Ninja. Oh, you got a 116 server running? Neat. Did you add my colonies to it? Uh, let me close this here off. Just put maybe here some light in here. <laughs> just making sure, just making sure that you're making good choices. <laughs> Inform the decision making is important. I, w I went today into OptiNotFine Discord to rage around a little bit because OptiFine 116 is crashing with mine colonies because they messed around with the forge stuff and deleted the forge client world capabilities and so I sent some patrons over to their to um, Discord uh, to to OptiNot Fine and told them to complain to OptiFine because it's on them. Just for a guy there telling them that we're too lazy to fix our broken renderer stuff. So I had to go there and I'm seriously rage around there. And was be like, what the heck are you talking about, man? What the hell are you talking about? I think that in the end the guy felt sorry. No one got banned. I'm very polite. I w no, I was very polite. I'm not always very polite. But I was very polite. Uh, but I'm not going to let some guy tell me that it that didn't read half of the crash log. That I have to fix some rendering stuff. I think it's in the other, in the other one. Oh yay! We got stamina researched finally. Um, where? I know we have a lot of quartz somewhere. I just have to find it. I think it was in the other one, or is it here? Um, I do think they're going to to be fixing that relatively soon. Um, because actually all because actually the problem is that the current Optifine 
Is that here? Yes, that one is what I wanted. Yeah, it was in the lower drawers. And I'm just not used to this texture pack. Um, as far as I know, they currently do not support up as Forge version above Forge 61 at the moment. And Forge version 61 has that that fix we need. So potentially, I hope that should be relatively quick for them to fix. Um, in general, going to them and bothering them about it will get it fixed quicker. So stairs. Stairs, pillars and slabs. 11 slab. Oh, that's a bit much. Okay. Yeah. So quartz pillar, shader, um, those. Sandstone slabs I'm going to make as well. Yeah, I definitely agree. Or Optifine finally extracting their shader stuff into separate mod. Because the main problem is Optifine adds a lot of different things that are not necessary actually. To have them together with the shaders. But since they add them, each update has to have all those things. And that causes a bunch of the incompatibilities. Uh, what was the other birch? Was it stair? Fence. Birch fence. Um, I have sticks here, do I? Yes, I do. Fence? Is this enough fence? It is. Okay. Dark oak slab and oak trap doors. And torches. Um, I do not have... Um, yeah, fortunately that update they're going to do now to fix the mine colonies issue. That should not need a lot of code of their side. So I'm halfway positive they're going to do, be able to fix that in a reasonable time frame. But in general, they should be excluding those things. Um... What was I after? Oak. And just not enough. Ah, though we do have just enough oak for a bunch of trapdoors. Two of them. That's not what I call it, bunch. So we need dark oak, we need redstone, and sticky pistons. Do I have my resource scroll around here? There it is. Okay, I'm going to register it here. And I can go off there and got all the things we need. Oh, whoops. Okay. Dark oak. First. I know we have a bunch of dark oak. Is that all we have of dark oak, really? So I'm going to be hunting for some dark oak. But let's get the other things first. A bunch more oak. Redstone. Um, so we have redstone down here. Take me a fan of these. That's going to be for repeater and torch. Sticky piston, we need oak. Yes. Let's get oak from the lumberjack first. There is dark oak nearby, yes. It's it's pretty close. So that should not be a problem. Nice orchard we have going here with all those oak trees. Okay. 
Wait. The delivery man picked up. There we got the oak. Um, here. So we have, we need nine of them. That's six. So that's the eight. Wait, we need nine, I said. Eleven. So that's for the trap doors. Um, sticky pistons. Sticky pistons? Oh. That could be difficult. I have to see if we have slime balls for the sticky pistons. Because I'm actually not sure if we do. Um, it's slime, isn't it? Yes. It's in none of these racks at least. Nor here. Maybe here. Nope. Down here it's not. Maybe it's here along among those mob drops. No. Okay, slime ball. I don't think there's a way to make slime balls. Um, mob drops, mana infusion, cactus in a mana pool. We do have a mana pool there, don't we? I think we do have a mana pool around here. Does this great mana? I only need two. Should this work? Is this how Botania works? Or does this mean there's not enough mana in this pool? Okay, how do how do I get more mana? Do I have one of a few of these endo flames? Not with me. So I got the mana spreader here. Coal or, or charcoal? Planks don't work. Gotta be coal or charcoal. Okay, I get it. So I'm going to get some wood. Here. Um, like this? Oh, that worked? Did it? It seems it's doing something. That one isn't. That one is. That works? Does this work? I'm confused by this Botania stuff, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I'm seeing stuff happening. <laughs> I'm seeing stuff happening here. Okay. I need an cadam. Wait. Okay. No, we don't have I don't have a catalyst though. Surely started this. Alchemy catalyst, very good. Oh Oh very nice.
Yay! Slime balls. Very nice. This works. Kinda feels like cheating though. But it works. I accept it. Feels like cheating a bit though. Okay. Um, so we do need some cobblestone. Okay. So the recipe was to... No. Never mind me. Here on the top. Here on the sides. I need iron. And it was... Piston. Another piston. It's going to be quick. And then two sticky pistons. There we go. And... So we got the sticky pistons. The repeaters. How much... How many repeaters do we need? Four. Okay. We need one redstone torch. We need stone. We do have stone somewhere. Stone. And we need more torches. Okay. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay. And normal torches. We got some coal around here. Eh, some iron is always good. And we can make some torches out of that. And I think that's potentially enough for the builder, almost. Just need a racks. It's going to cost us most of our <laughs> iron again. Iron again before we can actually use it for the research. So I guess the next worker is going to be the smelter. Okay. Trapdoor. Redstone torch. Sticky piston. And the normal torch. Let me check if we have any iron or um, what is the name again? I think it's still iron. Iron. Was it also? Yeah. Iron bars. No iron bars here. No iron here. Yeah, that's a pain. Okay, I gotta make all of them for you. I'm going to give you... So that's enough for six. But we need ten more. Um, I do have more here, don't I? I do take this here as well. I don't want to take and potentially dump those in here. Those stay out. Okay. Oops. That was not intentional. And two more. Give me two more. Lots of planks. One more. Only one more. Ah, we got a raid. Oh no, it's time. It's the time of truth. Raid without some add-ons. At least only missing the Dark Oak now. We can get our bow. Okay. 
And I gotta sleep quickly. Where is it? Southwest. That's north, southwest. Okay. Time for... Time for a raid. And that seems very close here. I can see them. So I'm going to go sleep here quickly. I got for once my bed close by. Yeah, it's time for raid, exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Sleep, please. I got a raid. Oops. I can do it. I can do it. One more person, please. I'm seeing already the raiders enter my colony. Okay. Up we go. They're not entering yet, so that's good. Nope, I need some food quickly. I almost got them done. They did lose my one guard that was stationed around here. Uh, where's the other one? I don't know, people are always complaining that the raids are so difficult. I don't think. Like, very big colonies have fairly difficult raids. But besides that, I don't find it very challenging. Done. Ouch. But even at the current raid level, a lot of people are not able to take care of it. So I guess people are also less PvP savvy or PV something savvy. But yeah, in general, <laughs> some add-ins can make them more difficult. Yay! I think we need a healthy balance. I think uh, command line Ray. I didn't do anything in a command line. It was all vanilla. It's even fairly powerful ball. <laughs> um, knowingly that a lot of people are losing most of their citizens to most of the raids. Um, 
I know that, yeah, we're not going to make it uh, more difficult without seriously tweaking the guards to be smarter with their decision making as well. However, the pirates are, yeah, yeah, the pirates are fairly unbalanced, that is true. And that is also on some add-ons list to get the pirates more balanced. Is it in this direction? I can see the dark oak, there it is. Um, the main problem of the pirates is that there are only three ships. So that means either you get it easy or it already gets very hard. So the general idea of the pirates is in the future to make it like two ships that spawn close to each other. And then you have two small pirate ships instead of one of these medium pirate ships and then first a medium and a small pirate ship and then two medium pirate ships before getting the big one. So in general, those should be changes that kind of balance them out a little bit as well. Oh yeah, that's a good question. We're going to be looking on the miner relatively soon. And check what she brought us up with the diamond pickaxe. Um, another thing we're working on as well. Um... Another thing we're working on as well is making sure that when a lot of your citizens die you get a longer grace period. Like my, my idea was more or less when for each 10% of people dying you get 10, you get a day, an additional day off. Or you get two additional days off. So if half of your citizens die that's 10 days additionally off. I didn't know there is such a thing as an obsidian ping axe, but she's not level 5 yet. I don't think she can handle it. There we go. But... Yeah, in, in general... The pirates is one of, uh, one of the raider types that I enjoy. Because you can't handle them alone. You need guards for them. But we do know that guards are super strong. The, the problem is that sometimes they make stupid decisions. Like they start eating in the middle of a fight. Or they want to dump in the middle of a fight. And then they get stuck trying to dump in the middle of a fight. So... That's things we are working on already. <laughs> Sometimes. Fairly often. Sorry. Touché. So those are things some Adams is... is currently working on. There's some more up here. There we go. That should be enough dark oak to get us going again. But yeah, those are things we are actively working on. On balancing things out in all directions. So that players who are fairly versatile uh, in in combat are able to handle things as well as players that are a little more PvP or PvE savvy also still can have fun. The things have to be carefully balanced, right? Because else it's going to get boring as well. Okay, Dark Oak. Wasn't it slabs, was it? There we go. 
and an oak sign. You were supposed to get from the warehouse. Let's see if one of those is going to bring up getting some lag. One of you is supposed to carry the oak sign. I'm going to make one quickly potentially then. Although I do not have enough oak with me, do I? I do have enough oak with me. So I make a quick oak sign here. Yeah, we do also... We did already talk about having certain restriction on the pirates. But in general, we do not want players to stay next to their lava sea um, around their colony sniping down pirates and never having to go to the pirate ship itself what we can alter is probably the amount of spawns per some time which I think is fair like you can get a maximum of X So you can get amount of X pirates per minute or so. That would make sense. So if you killed a bunch of pirates, they give you a short break for the next one. I guess we could spawn the maximum number a bit slower. Potentially. So you got a little... Because at the moment you go on the ship and you're like surrounded by pirates that three hit you. So potentially... Ha ah, wait. Iron ingots. Very good. So having short grace periods for you to handle the pirates. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like... Uh, uh, would be a wave flag system exactly that was the idea I had potentially the same thing with the barbarian capes uh, um, when we have them okay all our builders currently fine you are the warehouse four the other one is the delivery man too now. Okay, great. Um. We could potentially even make it that the first wave is the strongest. And then you get um, decreasingly strong waves. Considering that you probably lost some guards in the first wave. That would make sense as well. So we are already an hour and 40 minutes in in our stream. We did a bunch of progress also without Sam letters. Maybe because of without Sam letters. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we got a bunch of our wall continued here. We defended our colony against a raid successfully. Just having one loss unfortunately. Um. We did a bunch of upgrades. We placed down a new fisherman hut. Um, we finished um, two level one citizen huts, um, level three guard tower. So this colony is progressing fairly quickly, I have to say. Um, I hope you had as much fun as I did today. And I'm going to see you guys on Thursday. And hopefully. I think maybe next week Sam Letters is going to be back already as well. Um, if you want to support our project, you can follow, subscribe and become a Patreon. 
I hope you had a nice time, and I'm going to see you guys on Thursday. Ciao, ciao, and good night.